Hey guys, welcome back to another fun-filled and exciting episode of Project Snowball and the 6BT Come and Swap on the Tactical Repair Channel. Uh, today we're working on the throttle linkage, and um, of course it didn't quite work out how I thought it would. It's close, but I'm going to have to do a little something different, and um, I want to show you what it is. See, you can actually reuse your stop multi-fuel throttle linkage, you just have to make some bends in it and then a little modification. So um, I'm kind of halfway through it here. I am going to have to go buy some more parts because um, the other things I have are here that came with the engine are not going to work. Um, but it's stuff you can get at your local hardware store, or at least I can. And I'm in a small town, so if I can, you should be able to. Let's, let me show you what I got. So on the uh, Cummins engine here, we have it equipped with our P7100 pump. Now if you have a, um, if you have the VE pump, then obviously you're going to have to do something different with your throttle linkage. It's not going to work this way for you. Um, but I don't have a VE pump, so. Uh, the throttle linkage connects here. And not, not this one. This is, this is for uh, kick down cable linkage if you're going to run an Allison, which I'm obviously not on here. In fact, I probably should take that off. Um, as you know, the throttle linkage originally for the multi-fuel comes straight out because the pump is down here by the steering box. Uh, you see I've already made a couple of bends in it. And, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to give you the measurements for that because I just laid it out by eyeball. And where you put your motor in the truck is going to make a huge difference. Even you know, 7 sixteenths, a half an inch forward or back will make a big difference in where your bends need to be. So that you're going to have to figure on your own. But I'm going to show you the principle here. So our throttle linkage, um, it connects to a bell crank down here that comes off of the bottom of the pedal, right? And what I've got is, and you need to do this too when you're making your bends and your marks and everything, you just want to shim the pedal up to its full maximum height. So that's where it's going to be without the throttle depressed at all. Um, then you put your linkage on and I actually, um, I unbolted it there and I just have it sitting on there because you need to be able to take it in and out a few times so what I did is I kind of eyeballed it and I made a mark right there which is gone now the paint flaked off and I bent it there and I took it out a couple of times to get the angle right to come up here where it would go just between um, the between and, and just kind of a hair in front of the pump here and uh, of course Bennett's to go straight forward again once I got that angle right um, you know I wanted to be able to clear the pump here when at full uh, full throttle off so the bend needs to be you know back an inch and a half or so from it so I'm not worried about it actually contacting the pump even if the motor flexes or the frame is flexing or anything you want a little bit of space now the problem is um, it's too long with the factory end on there and, and you know that's the right size hole it would be able to pin right through there except it's too long so what we have to do is take this off and this is this just unthreads by the way you won't need to use a throttle return spring like originally the multi-fuel had on the linkage up here connected to the steering box um, because the p-pump has its own throttle return spring built in and it's it's pretty stiff so of course if you want to use an extra spring you can but it's absolutely not necessary so we take that off and um, that's um, not gonna be a useful piece anymore so we're gonna have to get rid of that now the shame is um, we're not gonna have that spring-loaded uh, override anymore right there so if you depress the pedal too far um, if you don't have like your pedal stop adjusted right it, this is not going to take up the excess you're going to end up bending something there or on the bell crank down there so keep that in mind when you do this you're definitely going to want to adjust your pedal stop properly so that leaves us with a linkage that comes up and is mm, a little bit short right but it clears everything now I, I wish there was a better way to show you all this of course there's some things hanging in the way there's a hose and there's another hose and there's um that is actually the main fuel feed 
which I guess I could get out of the way, huh? So let's see if this helps at all. All right. So where it needs to be, now it's trying to come out back there. Where it needs to be is about right there. And if we look down here, see we're just a little, it's hard to do this like this. Um, I'm gonna end up being about right there, I guess. Maybe a little higher to be straight in line with it. So what we can do, um, this engine came with a piece of throttle linkage on it originally from Ford. And it was made up of this heim joint and a um, threaded collar for adjustment and this threaded in the other end of it. And this is a quick release uh, spring loaded ball stud detent thing. Now that's kind of cool. I would like to use that because that ball stud is replaceable for wear. Whereas this heim joint on this end is not. It's swedged on as you can see there and um, it already has it already has some slack in it, which it would probably last 10, 10 years or so, but why put on something that's already worn out, you know, or half worn out? So that's wedged in. This is wedged in. I could probably cut this off right about there and make my own collar, you know, drill it out a little bigger, thread it um, on both ends. Or I could go to the hardware store Steins in the Ritter, which I know sells things like this, and I know because I saw them last time I was there, sells a little heim joints just like that. So what I can do is get a heim joint with a threaded shank and a collar. I need to find out what this thread is. I think that's probably five sixteenths coarse, uh, but I'll find out before I go. And I'll get a heim joint with a thread that matches that and a I keep forgetting the name. There's a name for stuff like this. A turnbuckle? Yeah. Turnbuckle nut, I guess. Um, I can get another collar like that in approximately the length I need. If it's too long, I can cut it. Uh, if it's too short, I won't buy it. So, um, But I think that's what I'm going to be able to do. And if, if the Heim joint that has a 5 16 thread, I think, is, has a bigger hole than that, then I'll just drill that hole out to match. Nut and bolt through it, of course a nylock nut. And I should, should be good to go. Um, when I do get that figured out and done, I'll make sure to show you that in a, a, a video in the future. Um, I, obviously I can't do that today. I don't have time to run to town and, and do that and finish it all up. And I really don't wanna make a you know, multi-part series of five and 10 minute videos, five or, six of them on just doing a throttle linkage so you get the idea it's a sound and simple concept um, i will show you it when it's complete and i'll show you how it works um, <laughs> assuming it works nothing else i'm doing has turned out as planned so um still waiting to hear back on the fan pulley and stuff still waiting on the bushing so i can weld the motor mount solid in the front and haven't ordered my intercooler and need to get some more paint so yeah it's it's uh there's a lot left to do and actually now I've, I've gotten to the point where i can cut this crap off and get um, an air feed line and start putting other things back together i'm just kind of working on random shit as uh as it occurs to me that i can do see i'm not i'm not ready to do all the wiring harness and stuff yet because it goes across the front and i'm still got to do some welding up there so i don't want to melt the new harness um you know plumbing and stuff i need to get some more copper line i'm going to replace some of that uh, i need to get some more 3 8 airline yeah specifically want to replace the shit over here that it just looks bad quarter inch airline for the front axle um the transfer case engagement's got a dent there and it just it's gonna be hard to get that all clean and straight so i'll just replace it um, this is the air pack vent line and all, so that's going to get replaced with uh, the nylon DOT air line. Uh, I guess I could run my axle vent system, my new one, but anyway, just lots and lots of little stuff. At least it's not raining today. Hell, I might get out there and paint something. I do have a little bit of paint left. I'm not sure if I have enough to complete anything. Anyway, dudes, um, look, appreciate you watching. Um... Gonna get that done 
as soon as I can get another video up on that. Um, check out our sponsor, Big Mike, down here. Big Mike's Motor Bolt. No, not my tip. Big Mike's. Um, you already know about him. If you've been watching my videos, you should know. Big Mike is the go-to guy for parts. Um, like the video if you found it helpful. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you later. Peace, guys.